Hi everybody, this is Dr. Andrew Yanover at St. John's and I was asked to go over the diagnosis of hip arthritis. And so it's actually a pretty straightforward diagnosis to make. It involves three basic things. It involves taking a history, it involves a physical exam to look at anatomy and mechanics, and then also x-rays to look inside the structure of the hip. And when we look at imaging, x-rays are by far the best modality because they give us the clearest, they give us the crispest possible image, much better than MRI, much better than CT. So everything starts with the hip x-ray. So I'll show you what we look at. So whenever we take an x-ray of the hip, we end up seeing both sides. And it's important because one side will serve as a control for the damaged side. So this is the bad side, this is the good side. So I'll show you what we look at. A typical hip looks like this. There's a round ball and a round socket. And in between the bones, there is a thick layer of cartilage. That is the cushion that's soft and it creates the separation that protects the bones from grinding. It will absorb the impact so that the hip can move comfortably. Now with age, with wear and tear, with degeneration, this cartilage can erode and become deficient. And that is what is called arthritis, a loss of this cushion. And an arthritic hip looks like this, very different. Structurally, we see the ball and socket, but now there is no space between the bones. This is called bone on bone. Because it looks like bone on bone, there is no intervening cartilage or cushion to protect those bones. This now becomes uncomfortable with every step. But also we see a structural change, not just pain, but also a functional change because this ball is no longer round. You can see it's starting to collapse and looks more egg-shaped than spherical. And this hip will also become stiff and weak. And when a person becomes arthritic like this, this is when they have difficulty with sports, they have difficulty with walking, they develop a limp, trouble putting on shoes and socks, everything becomes difficult. This is a painful hip. And it's so important to understand that arthritis is a mechanical deficiency because it helps us understand how we fix it. And we fix it by restoring the natural mechanics. So a hip replacement looks like this. So there's a stem and a cup, but the key is there is a new ball and cushion to replace the defective ball and the missing cushion. Once there's a new ball and cushion, these bones will no longer grind. And once the bone is no longer grinding, this leg will work again and the person is going to feel significantly better. Okay, so x-rays are actually pretty straightforward, and I think with just a little bit of knowledge, you too can make that diagnosis of arthritis in your own radiograph.